One normal day, a retired man in Harleschassen, a suburb of the central German city of Kassel, was just going about his day, doing some housework. But suddenly, out of nowhere, a hissing animal with markings like a safe cracker's mask shot towards him and sank its teeth into his left hand. It was a female raccoon, intent on protecting her young, and next she attacked the man's foot. The struggle lasted for about a minute or so before the man staggered away, bleeding all over the place. That altercation is a symptomatic of a nuisance that's spreading throughout the country of Germany. The common raccoon, which is not native to Germany, is beginning to explode in population over the country and not only in Germany, but also the UK, and the raccoons are now posing a threat to the entirety of Europe. Currently, there are right under 1 million estimated raccoons in Germany. However, this number is increasing very fast. In fact, in the 1920s, there were only about a couple dozen raccoons in Germany as they were imported from North America for their furs. They were originally used for fur farming and for their pelts and they weren't introduced into the wild until about 1934 when only two pairs of raccoons were released into the wild. Their stated purpose at the time was to enrich the fauna of the area. During World War II, a raccoon farm was also destroyed, releasing several dozen more raccoons in the wild. However, it's also possible that before this time, other raccoons were accidentally or purposefully released into the wild of Germany. So in the 1920s, 30s, and 40s, there were at best only a couple dozen raccoons in the area. However, over the decades, they have quickly exploded in population. You see, raccoons have a distinct advantage over several types of wildlife creatures in Germany. They have been jaded and well adapted after hundreds of years of living alongside American cities. They know how to navigate our urban environments in the United States and Canada, and they have grown intelligence significantly. Researchers have proven that raccoons that are urban or found inside of cities are significantly more intelligent than their wild counterparts. In fact, when compared to dogs and cats, they are actually significantly more intelligent. They are more capable of remembering where food is located. They have hands which they are able to use to open doors, open fridges, and do all kinds of absurd things like climb and destroy roofs and do whatever it takes to break into certain things. Combined with their greater intelligence, almost equivalent to that of a young ape, it makes for a deadly combination when compared to the other wildlife. The raccoons are quickly able to kill other species, both for food, but also just to stay alive and to beat the competition. And then they are also able to use their intelligence to make new homes in the urban environments in Germany. So in the past few decades, they have absolutely exploded in population, which is now causing a massive wildlife catastrophe in Germany, as well as the nearby countries. Raccoons are about to reach 1 million population, is what biologists estimate in the area. And this is again a huge problem because raccoons are not native to Germany. So they have unfair advantages against the local populations and they are infesting all kinds of people's homes. They are spreading diseases and they're also destroying the local biodiversity. So. Germany, and in fact the European Union as a whole, is literally fighting back. In some areas of Germany, they focus specifically on hunting only raccoons, and they've created traps that are designed to kill raccoons. They are literally encouraging the killing of raccoons, and in some cases, they're even cooking raccoon meat and encouraging it so that way they can get rid of this. Now, this has been met by some resistance of animal lovers, people that believe that raccoons deserve protection and that it will be okay, 
and some studies have determined that the current damage on the local biodiversity is not that much. However, the European Union as a whole is not only just allowing the trapping of raccoons as well as the killing of it, but actively encouraging it. And again, the reason for this is because they are very quickly able to spread and they can spread diseases and cause infestation. So while it doesn't seem like that much of a problem, the damage that raccoons can do both occurs on a physical level, but it also can affect us in terms of our personal health. On a physical level, they damage our buildings, they can destroy things. In some cases, we've literally seen raccoons be able to rip up a tiny hole in the roof and create a giant hole. They're able to destroy things, they might get in fights with your pets, they might bite you, but on a human level, what they can do is spread diseases. You see, raccoons have parasites which are very bad for you or your pets. So if you get these parasites, it's not going to be healthy for you at all. But even worse, they are what is considered a rabies vector species. Now what this means is that they are able to carry and transmit rabies very easily. And rabies is very, very dangerous for human health. Rabies kills about 59,000 people every single year and it is often spread by rabid animals biting people or just a carrier of the disease. And the dangerous thing about rabies is that once symptoms start appearing, there is pretty much no cure for the disease. It's got a 99.9% .9 rate of fatality. So if you get bit by a wild animal, it's absolutely important that you go to the hospital immediately and you don't waste any time. Because if you don't go to the hospital and symptoms start appearing of rabies, unfortunately it's too late. Once the first symptoms appear, it pretty much signifies the beginning of your end. You will die. There have only been a dozen or maybe two dozen people in recorded history of the disease that have ever survived having rabies. So it's extremely dangerous and it's causing a big problem in Germany, but not just Germany, but now it's posing a threat to the European Union as a whole. Raccoons are very curious creatures and they're able to explore very far distances, in some cases traveling hundreds upon hundreds of miles or kilometers in order to explore new areas. And like I said earlier, when they explore out, they don't have to compete with other raccoons or other animals, so they're quickly able to take over new environments and find places which have weaknesses that they can infest. So what this means for the European Union is that they need to take necessary precautions in order to spread, prevent the spread of raccoons as it could cause very big problems. However, if you are in the USA and you are having a problem with wildlife or pests as well, then you should make sure to give us a call at 855-WILDLIFE or visit wildlifexteam.com. We do not try to kill raccoons, but what we do is we safely remove them from people's homes, we restore the damage, and we return them to a safe place in the wild so that way they can continue on happily and you know, we're not trying to kill them or anything, we're just safely restoring them to an area where they can be safe and stop doing damage. So again, visit us at wildlifexteam.com. We safely and ethically remove these animals and return them to nature. So if you think you have a wildlife or pest problem, please contact us and I hope you enjoyed this. We'll talk to you next week. They're out there looking for a home and they found one, yours. They want that cozy place in your attic or under your foundation. Give them enough time and you'll be paying big bucks to fix their damage. Wildlife X Team specializes in removal and prevention of wildlife infestation, responsibly and professionally. Wildlife X Team has earned the top rated award from home advisors because they're experts at what they do. Just one call and they're gone. 855-WILDLIFE or wildlifexteam.com.